of the United Church of Christ, and I currently serve as the Director of Outreach and Mission Integration for United Church Homes. And I came this morning from downtown Cleveland um, because last night we just concluded the annual meeting of Chisholm, which is the Council of Health and Human Service Ministries. And the reason why I lift all that, I wasn't going to say all that. The reason why I lift that is because I led a workshop two days ago and got to meet the new director of Back Bay Mission, and we were talking about shrimp oils. And in that workshop was the national person for OGHS. And I know that Chris and Pam and Phyllis would be more than ecstatic to know that, that this congregation is very much engaged in the mission, in the ministry of the United Church of Christ. I am in the ministry today, and if you talk to many ministers how it is they got to got to where they are, oftentimes we'll mention church camp as being an important part of our journey. Church camp was a part of my journey, but I can tell you that one of the places that I really felt the call to ministry was when I had the opportunity as a youth to attend General Synod. And so it is, uh, I was very happy to to be asked and to serve on the local arrangements committee for the General Synod this summer, which will be held in General Synod, which will be held in Cleveland. General Synod is the biannual national gathering of the United Church of Christ. Think of it as part revival, part education, um, intellectual stimulation, part family gathering, Part business, um, and it's all of those combined. Um, the dates for it this year are June 26th to 30th, and it will be at the Cleveland Convention Center. And I can tell you on a Sunday morning without any traffic, because that's just where I came from, it takes one hour and 12 minutes. Um, so you are uh, <laughs> definitely not too far away to participate. General Synod rotates to the various conferences each, each year. The last time it was held here in the Ohio Conference was 1997. I think it's kind of like childbirth. You have to let some time pass before you forget what it was like to host General Synod before you agree to do it again. We are in the process of trying to recruit for, uh, roughly 450 people. That's how many volunteers it takes to support this gathering. Uh, between the delegates who come from the various conferences and then the visitors that come, we're expecting between 3,500 and 4,000 people um, to participate in the events. Here's the good news for you as members of the Ohio Conference. If you volunteer, and that means if you go and you volunteer for two roughly four-hour time slots, they're going to we'll send you a code so you can register to participate in General Synod. And instead of the registration fee being $249, your registration fee comes down to $60, just because of volunteering for two slot slots. So there's a little financial incentive to participate. But we need people. There will be volunteers at the airport to be very visible presence for folks who are arriving from around the country and um, actually will be international visitors as well. We need people at each of the hotels to greet people as they come into the hotels. We need people who will be there on Sunday to pass out communion. Um, we need people to help with the kids. We actually run a children's program simultaneous to General Synod for the children of of those who are volunteering and those who are delegates. It's kind of like a national church camp in the middle of the city. Um, there are all kinds of areas, and you can go to the website, and that's on your bulletin your insert to see what all of those are. If you are not available June 26th to 30th, if you've already got your vacation plans, and unfortunately it coincides with General Synod, never fear you can it has been a long time tradition at General Synod as a part of welcoming the guests and the delegates. Um, and we have to go through very special arrangements with the convention center to be able to do this. 
but it is a long time tradition that the host conference provides homemade cookies for folks to be able to have as a snack and to feel at home. We need, our goal is to collect 10,000 dozen. <laughs> 10,000 dozen cookies. And each of the associations will have uh, an association coordinator to figure out how to receive those cookies and to get them to Cleveland. So if you can't actually be there at Senate, but you would like to help support and, and help to welcome folks to Ohio, and you could bake some cookies, throw them in the freezer, and then get them to the coordinator, we would be ever so grateful. If you have any questions, I'll be here um, through worship and be here a little, a little bit after. And on behalf of um, Sue and Derry Weinberg, who are the chairs of the local arrangement committee, who right now are on a much needed vacation in the midst of planning and prior to the last uh, push before the, before the big event, um, I, I, if I can't answer the question, I'll take it and I'll, and I'll get the answer for you um, later. So it is great to be here. Thank you.